Hello. If you have almost any Commodore machine other than the Amiga, and you are connected to a data set, which is the Commodore tape drive, and you have a tape, and you want to bring things into the computer, all you need to do is go to the keyboard and type in L-O-A-D. Load! And press return. And it will say, press play on, on some machines that might say tape one. On most it will just say press play on tape. And then you look at your data set and you press play. And then you wait. And it should then come up and tell you that it's found something. And if you all you type in is load, it will say found, the name of the program, and loading. That's all there is to it. That's it. That's all. So now I'm going to carry on with the story of why I told you that in that short little video. Because I'm going to do two versions of this. This is a long version. <coughs> I had a message from a fellow. And then he called me. And we talked. And he had an old pet. And he was wondering what he might do with it. And he had a data set. He had some tapes. And he was thinking of selling it. And so we discussed, you know, what's going on, on in the online world about selling and other such things. And, uh, anyway, so we left it at that and he listed it on Kijiji and I saw it and I just checked in with him. And, and then he said, you know, I, I, I don't know if it really works because, of course, I don't know how to, you know, do anything with it anymore. Now, and, and he'd had this machine since, you know... I don't know, I guess he probably got it in his teens when he was in high school. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, I wrote back, I said, well, if you want to try out a tape, all you have to do is type in load and press return. And then press play when it asks you to. And he was quite, oh, you know, it was so simple. But once again, we forget these things that we know are so simple because we know them. But for someone, say someone was at a garage sale and they said, oh, there's a pet, or there's a 64, there's a big 20, or a plus 4, or whatever. They don't know. They're like, wow, a vintage computer. Cool. And then they bring it home and they don't know what to do. Maybe it's got a disk drive, maybe it's got a tape drive, maybe that's nothing. Who knows what they might find in the box underneath the table of, you know, somebody who's selling this thing off. So once in a while, we must remember, we who have been around a long time, have been around a long time. And people who have not been around a long time are brand new, and they know nothing. Like, you know, here on the side of the Commodore 64 is the power switch. This is where you plug in the power. Um, you know, there's the, the joystick ports on the side, the cartridge port, the user port, the video port, the disk drive. The RF modulator, which of course, who uses that? But it's there. Some people think because it's an RCA thing, and I've seen, heard of this before, it's an RCA thing, they put an RCA thing, they put it in the back of an RCA something, which is a composite of course, and that's not a composite output, and they think, oh, it doesn't work. Well, that's not the case. Anyway, what am I saying? What I'm saying is, we must remember, there are brand new even this day, there is somebody out there, brand new, who just picked up something and knows nothing. And that is why I've started to make these short, quick little videos. Good news on the fellow with the pet I was telling you about, who didn't know how to load things. After he tested some things out and loaded some things up, he's decided to keep his machine. And take many a trip down memory lane. Um, and go through some of the tape. Who knows? Maybe he'll look for more tapes. Maybe he'll look for a disk drive. Who knows? But he's back in the world of Commodore. Thanks to four little letters. L-O-A-D. Shaboom. And that is all I have to say about that. Bye for now.